Louisville, Kentucky, the site of this year's IBEW 4th District Progress Meeting. In continuing a new tradition started just last year, NECA contractors and industry stakeholders were invited to join alongside the Brotherhood to raise a glass, talk some shop, and just to get to know each other a little bit better outside of the walls the business world erects. It was amazing tonight that I got to meet people that I've communicated with, whether it be by text or by email, and now I can put a face with a name. It makes a big difference. It's a lot easier to have a relationship with a person than a device. This event, we have the opportunity to get to know each other on a one-on-one -on -one basis, whether it's a business manager, an industry partner, a NECA chapter manager, all those different things is so important to our industry that we're sitting down and talking about how it works for us all. All the manpower we have and the success that we have with our clients is based on what their, their team does. The IBW members have 80% of the customer contact. So they are, for us, within our company, the most important piece of our business. Well, if you're representing employees in this industry, you need to have a good business partner to, to work your members, to be fair, to be open-minded, to uh, reach out to you when there's a problem, solve it ahead of time. And uh, Bluestone Communications is a great partner to IBW at Local 24. I think it builds uh, relationships on a personal level outside of the workplace. Instead of going up and talking about our problems, our issues, the things that we face each and every day, I think it uh, brings it down to a human element. Anytime you, you get an opportunity to, to build a relationship between a party, you, you remove a wall. I think it's much better when we can get together and, and understand who we are. It's much easier to talk to Joe uh, on a personal level when we have an issue if, if we've, we've seen each other at a, a different circumstance. I think really it's understanding that at the end of the day, we want what's best for our people and what's best for our company. So I think from my perspective with Kevin, it's open communication to understand what the challenge is and, and find it. Trying to understand the common problem and working together to resolve it creates better environment for both the customers and the people that are employed there. And ultimately it provides the company a better benefit. You know, I drove 400 miles today to, to come to this tonight, and I'm driving back early tomorrow morning. And then the only reason I do is because it, it's it's about relationships, you know, and spending time with friends. Yeah. And it, it really is. They become friendships. The networking at these things is impeccable. Yeah. And, and the relationship we make and get to take home with us. And certainly getting headline treatment at this year's meeting is the fact that there is now an infrastructure bill that calls for not only rebuilding America, but also for expanded development of green energy. The fact of the matter is that we've never seen in the history of the United States a bill like this that is adding to the infrastructure that also includes labor standards. We've never seen that. And it's very exciting that we have the opportunity in front of us to be able to truly reach in and dig in and work together, and it's being supported by federal law. We're all very fired up in the industry. We know that this is a generational change. We haven't seen this in a century. We know there's a lot of solar development in the state of Ohio, Savion being one of those developers. So we thought it would be a good idea to uh, bring Savion into our training center and show what we have to offer. As a large-scale utility solar developer and operator, we became aware of the solar training facility and I reached out to some of the representatives in Columbus and they invited us out and I brought along some of our other employees and you know we were quite impressed with the professionalism and the ability to train a workforce which is what we need to be able to, to build our projects in Ohio. Offshore wind is another area that will be moving forward at a rapid pace in the years ahead, and the Powering America team has been laying the groundwork for years. I recognize that we were going to need highly skilled electricians that could handle the high voltage electricity that would be generated from the wind turbines, and the IBEW was a natural fit for us. We jumped in with both feet, we, be, we joined the network, uh, we hosted events at the building, became a sponsor mm -hmm. and started attending all the uh, international partnering forums, which are held annually. It helped us connect the dots that we needed to to build the relationships with the stakeholders in the offshore wind industry. Turns out, Vice President Cooper surveyed last year's attendees and the response to meet again this year was unanimous. And why not? It's a chance to put a brighter shine on what's already good 
and to maybe sand down some rough edges where need be. That's because there's just too much at stake for the industry and for the country. NEC and IBWF, we have contracts around the country in every local union and every local chapter. However, a contract is a piece of paper. A relationship is how you build a future together. You know, I'm an old fighter, so I'm, I still believe in fighting if I have to. But luckily for me, I have good partners in the industry. Uh, the NECA CEO, David Long, is here tonight. Him and I have been in the room all day today talking about different issues because we know how important this industry is, not only to us, but the United States of America. You are watching ETV. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information.